peace and abundance, y'all. So gonna jump right into it. So today I wanna talk about responsibility, all right? And there's a formula on, you know, responsibility that you can apply, all right? So it is E plus R equals O, all right? So what that means is that the event plus the response equals the outcome. All right, so I'm gonna look at you know some of this real quick. It says the basic idea is that every outcome you experience in life, whether it is success or failure, wealth or poverty, health or illness, intimacy or estrangement, joy or frustration is the result of how you have responded to an earlier event or events in your life, all right? Now, if you don't like the outcomes you are currently getting, there are two basic choices you can make, right? You can blame the event for your lack of results. In other words, you can blame the economy, the weather, the lack of money, your lack of education, racism, gender bias, the current administration, your parents, all right? There's a long list of things that you can blame. When you're not getting the outcomes, that you want, you can blame the event. Remember, event plus response equals outcome, all right? Now, blaming does not do any good for you, for the person you're blaming, for anybody that is involved with the situation or circumstance, right? I've heard before that, you know, fault and responsibility are two different things, all right? In life, you know, if something may be somebody else's fault, you could have the opportunity to blame that person, but at the end of the day, your life is your responsibility. So you have to take as much responsibility, as much accountability as possible in order to move on from that situation, improve the situation. Because when you don't take responsibility, you're basically taking on the identity of a victim. And as a victim, that means that you don't have ability to change the outcome. You have no power in the situation. And if you walk around having that victim mentality, you'll never be able to make the necessary changes in your life that you need to in order to change the results and the outcomes that you have, all right? So that's one course of action that a lot of people usually take is they just resort to blaming, right? They resort to blaming whoever is involved, anybody but themselves, to remove all responsibility and accountability, all right? The second thing that you can do is instead of simply changing, um, you can instead simply change your responses to the outcomes or events, right? And let me repeat that. You can instead simply change your responses to the events, the way things are, until you get the outcomes you want, all right? So you can change your thinking, change your communication, change the pictures you hold in your head, right? And change your behavior, the things that you do, right? That is all you really have any control over anyway, right? So again, your results in life is based on a funnel, right? Your thoughts influence your emotions and your feelings. Your emotions and your feelings influence your actions and your actions dictate your results, right? So no part of that funnel, that funnel is based on responsibility. It's taking responsibility for the way that you're thinking, taking responsibility for the way that you're feeling, taking responsibility for your actions, and based on those results, going back and making the necessary adjustments that you need to make in order to get the results and the outcomes that you want, all right? So E plus R equals O, event plus response equals outcomes. You have two choices. You can blame the event, all right? You can find a reason to blame, find something to blame other than yourself, or you can change your response, right? What are you going to do about it? When you take responsibility, you're saying that I have the ability to change this outcome, right? 
you know, I've heard before that it's not what happens to us, it's how we respond to it. Right. The thing about life is life is always going to throw challenges, opposition, adversity. There's always going to be things that come up that you weren't expecting, things that happened that you wish didn't happen. Right. That's just life. It's just a roller coaster and the ups and downs of life. But one thing that you do have control over is your response. Right. And you have to have the awareness and the consciousness level to be able to be intentional with your responses, right? Now, there's a difference between reacting versus responding. When we react to something, we're not intentional, right? We're not aware, we're not conscious of what it is that we're doing. It's more so a habit or based on how we're currently programmed, okay? But when you respond to something, you actually make a decision. You actually are intentional about how you want to act, um, what you want to say, what you want to do. You consciously create that action that you you know partake in, that outcome that you want, based on you know that intention that you set. All right. So don't react. You know, make sure that you respond. All right. So again, just to put a bow on this. There's gonna be events that happen in your life that you just have no control over. Challenges, opposition, adversity. Something may happen that is completely out of left field. Right? Com completely throws your momentum off, completely throws everything off, right? That's the event. Now, you have two options. You could blame, you could find a reason to blame. You could be a victim or you could take responsibility for it. Choose a difference in how you respond, create a plan of action, be intentional with the action steps that you decide to take, be intentional with the way that you're thinking, be intentional with now setting your sights on the outcome that you desire and respond to the situation correctly so you can then produce the outcome that you want. All right, y'all. So event plus response equals outcome. You can either blame the event because you didn't get the outcome that you want, or you can take responsibility, change your response, be intentional about it in order to get the outcome that you do want. All right. If you found value from this, you make sure you like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram at MJ, the mastermind. And if you're a high performer looking to maximize your personal and financial growth, make sure you reach out to me. Um, make sure you follow the channel. We're going to be posting a lot more on the topic of mindset, personal development, and just growing mentally, spiritually, and financially. All right. So stay tuned. Peace.